Join us as we follow Stephen Hedrick, owner of Punisher Lures, from the shores of Dale Hollow in Tennessee to Table Rock Lake in Missouri and back again as he shares his secrets to the float and fly, one of the most effective cold weather bass techniques. Hi, I'm Stephen Hedrick. My friends call me the Smallmouth Guru, and in this video we're going to be talking about one of my favorite ways to catch wintertime bass. It's called the float and fly. It'll work on any species of bass anywhere. If you've done it, you know how good it is. If you haven't, you're about to learn all you need to know to catch fish on float and fly. A true living legend of American sport fishing, Charlie Campbell has won 65 tournaments in his professional bass fishing career. You know, we was wondering whether it's going to work on, on Table Rock or not in our lakes up here. Man, already we've proven it real good. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. And, and I can see where it's going to be, you know, a deadly fish bait. Just the, And it'll catch fish when they won't bite anything else. And we get that kind of situation in a lot of times. So, and I can't wait to get down on Bull Shoals with it. Punisher Pro Staff member Bob Cohn, one of Dale Hollow's premier float and fly guides, can't wait for the guru to get back. He has to get out on the water. There he is. Come on in here, big girl. It's about a three pound fish. Right there's one. Yeah, she's coming up right there. She is. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Nice fish. Fat, boy. <laughs> Alright, let's turn around and go back up there. Roll that fabulous bean pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat. Whee! 